video tutorial on um, how to sign up for Google AdWords. And we're here at the Google homepage, and all you have to do is just go over here and click on Advertising Programs. And then we're going to have the choice between Google AdWords or Google AdSense, and we're going to choose Google AdWords. And now it's going to give us a choice of either Start Now or Sign Into AdWords with your Google account. So we're going to click on Start Now which brings us to this page which gives you a choice between starter edition or standard edition and we really want to use standard edition because that's going to give us a uh, full range of all the tools and conversion tracking multiple campaigns and so on so I want to choose the standard edition and click continue okay so if you'd like to use an email address and password that you already use with Google such as uh, Gmail or what have you you can click on this one if you don't you just click on I do not use these other services and I'll give you other options but just to make this video a little quicker I'm going to go ahead and use I have an email address and I'm going to put that one in there I'm going to put video test user at gmail And I'm going to click continue. And it now brings us to the screen where it asks us to choose what currency we're going to use to pay for the account. And I'm just going to leave this in US dollars and click continue. And it says your AdWords ad account has been created and your ad won't run until you submit your billing information. So you now sign into your AdWords account using the Google account address and password you specified. So now I'm going to click on uh, sign in to AdWords account. And it has me signed in here, video test user at Gmail. And now the thing we want to do now is when I click on create your first campaign. And when this first comes up, you're going to have uh, a box here. What target language do you want? What languages do your customers speak? And uh, of course, it's just depending on where you're at, that's what you would put in, but I'm going to just leave this as English for now. And I'm going to scroll down. And where your customer is located, currently targeting the United States, um, you can change the targeting if you like. And uh, you have choices here um, to either put your location choices, uh, which may affect your ad performance. And you see, for example, I've clicked on this and it's brought me a pop-up screen where you could actually choose even as much as a, a specific zip code. And then you can see what it's done here is taking me to a specific zip code. Now, for the purposes of our video, I'm just going to leave it at United States and click Continue. And then we're going to create an ad. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an ad. And uh, I'm just going to use the term Bluetooth headset and comply with new cell phone laws. Best prices online. And CaliforniaCellPhoneLaw.net. And you can see as I put these things in here, it is showing my ad and what it would appear like in the uh, websites and searches and so on. And then I'm going to click continue. And there's my ad. 
Now, one thing I do want to point out is when you are creating your ad, you want to use a keyword up here and not the name of your business. You want to use a keyword that people are searching for. And I could actually even narrow that down to something like Jabra Bluetooth headset or a Motorola Bluetooth headset or anything like that. So you want to do your keyword research first and be sure that you're using a keyword that people are looking for uh, when you do create your ad. And uh, then I'm going to scroll down here. And here it says, who will see your ad when people search Google for the keywords you choose? Your ad can show uh, don't enter real estate when you're selling cars. Enter 20 or fewer keywords. Um, now what I'm going to do here is just enter some that I know people are going to be looking for if they're looking for Bluetooth headsets. And like I mentioned earlier, use Jabra. Bluetooth headset. Motorola. Etc. And then I'm going to scroll down and click continue again. And now I'm coming to the area where I'm going to set my daily budget. Now, before we, we do the, the budgeting, I want to go back and show you uh, something else that you're going to want to do. When you do your uh, keywords, you're not going to just want to enter in just the keywords like they are here. You uh, also will want to put quotations in brackets. So I'm going to just copy and paste these. And do the same thing here. And here. And I'll show what I mean. You want to put quotes here and quotes here and then brackets and then the same thing for the next two here So if you don't do this, then what will happen is anything will come up for any of these words. So for example, here I am at Motorola Bluetooth headset. If I don't have it in quotations or brackets, then anytime anyone puts in Motorola Bluetooth or headset, the ad could show. And uh, same thing here, it could be any order Motorola Bluetooth headset. Uh, Motorola headset Bluetooth head, headset Bluetooth Motorola. In brackets, it's going to be exactly Motorola Bluetooth headset. And you know what I'm really after is people who are looking for Bluetooth headsets. So I want it to be as targeted as possible. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go back to the budget. Now, what we want to do is we want to put down here at least a hundred dollars because we want the ad to show. Now you're not going to spend a hundred dollars, but we want to have our ad show, so we're going to put $100 in there. And then on max CPC, um, just so that we can see uh, how many top positions we can dominate and see if we can stay up at the top, I'm going to go ahead and put it at uh, $4. And I'm going to look at the CPC content bid. Now, the, the next thing that we can do is we can view on the traffic estimator, and that will give us an idea of the estimated rank, traffic, and cost for our keywords. So I'm going to scroll down. And you can see that with what I've chosen here, uh, I'm going to dominate the first one to three positions. Uh, for Bluetooth headsets and quotations, estimated 20 to 25 clicks a day. 
uh, cost of thirty to forty dollars a day. Motorola Bluetooth headsets, I get seventeen to twenty-two, um, just without quotations, which I may want to change that. And uh, the total sixty to a hundred dollars a day. So this gives you an example of what your uh, actual cost and position uh, could actually be. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and click on continue. Okay, now you can see that um, we've gone through the process. We've targeted the area that I'm looking for, created the ad, chosen the keywords, set our pricing, and now we're going to the review and save area and showing my ad, keywords, showing my Mac CPC, and then here you can choose whether you want to get extra help, uh, send personalized ideas for improving my ad performance, AdWords newsletters, so on. And you can choose these or not. And then you would continue on to billing. But of course, for this video, we're not going to continue on to that because I'm not going to be putting in my personal credit card information or banking information or anything like that. So uh, this is going to be the end of this video for signing up for AdWords. I'll see you on the next video where we'll be talking about campaign settings.